Well, here come Shamrock Rovers on the attack. It's Perugia. Tries to cut inside. And that's well held by Luke McNicholas. Shot from Burke. Yeah, that's a great chance, Jessica. Um, Perugia, who I think he's going to be a big player for, for Shams uh, this year. You see him here. I, if he can stay injury free, I think he's um, he'll be a quality. He'll be like a new signing for them because he's had a couple of injuries over the last couple of years. And um, you see here now, Burke may be probably disappointed he should have done better. Lucas Browning now. Rohan Born moved to Sweden at two. He played against his now teammate, Brana Falls, last year, but he played with Aidan Keena and James Finnerty. Now here's Max Mata. Mata with the shot and it's oh, just what forced over by Alan Manis. What a save as Alan Keane said. That is a brilliant bit of goalkeeping. Uh, and we just uh, spoke about it earlier about him. You know, you said about him retiring. We didn't know what he's going to do. That's why he didn't. He's That is a great, great save. But what a ball. What a ball in by Branifel. Great run by Max Mata on his weaker side. Absolute. Alan Manis, another top class save. The visitors have a throw. Pinecker. Bulger looking for Browning. And here's Burke for Shamrock Rovers on the attack with the shot oh, and it's in. Shamrock Rovers go ahead. And there, Jessica, as them little areas I was telling you about, Graham Burke in them little pockets of space, you can't give him. What a strike. What a goal. That nice. is a super, super finish from Graham Burke. Scoring his, first, his side's first goal of the new season. And that's it. When you see the quality, you can't give players of his quality the time and space to run at you like that. And it, look at it. It's, it's, it's disheartening for uh, Sligo Rovers because they've started so well, but... This is where they've got to roll up sleeves. Too much space, too much time. Someone's got to come and meet him. Fitzgerald brings the ball across the halfway line. Plays it out wide to Levac. Oh, it's a penalty, he is fouled. Looks like what? that was on the edge that of the box. That was close, Jessica, I think. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's on the line. it down, it's Barlow, now Frank Levac, Barlow again, he goes down looking for a penalty, the home fans want one but Damien McGrath not interested, chance for the penalty decision but, oh I'll tell you Burke. what, Burns free kick, oh that's oh. a good effort, Great strike with Darren Newton. Barlow just trying to chase this down. I tell you what, he's raised his hands here, Lopez. He's raised his hands and he put it in his in, in Barlow's face. It's well, be it's interesting. All kicking off. Be interesting to see what Damien McGrath does here. And they're still pushing and shoving going on. And Alan Manis is in the middle of it too, just trying to calm things down. Keelan Barlow and Roberto Lopez getting to talking too. And there we go. It's a red card, I think. This is this is it here. You have a look at it here. It's I think Barlow kind of was at him and yeah, he's pushed him on the face. Greg Bulger, I see another stuff being prepared for Sligo Rovers. It's Caelan Barlow. Oh, oh, he hits the post. Still alive, Fitzgerald. 
And that's a free out, says the referee, Damian McGrath. And what a chance. What a chance. What a ball by Bulger. You know, the, the sky's passing. <sighs> Chamber Groves have had a let off. Well, 20 minutes yet to go in this game. It's not done yet. Home side are preparing another change. Yeah, this is a great ball. It looks like he's going to swing it into the box. But great, great run, great pass. Post. Clancy. That's a good ball for Will Fitzgerald. It's Fitzgerald. Oh, oh is that a save? Wide. Is that a save? No. I'm. I would the like, well, like over Rovers players are going. Are adamant that's a corner. I think it's a save. I think Manus has got a save again. But Fitzgerald has. He's got a score. I know he's. I know he's blocked. gone a bit wide. That's Barlow's free kick. Oh, Ooh, and that's just poked over the top. By Clancy. That's a great ball. It's, he's done really well, in it? He's just. Yeah. Browning. Tumata. That takes a touch. Oh, and it's almost God. put into the net by a Sharma Grover's man, I Tell think. You what. It's that it's one of the it's a difficult ball to defend. It's it's taking a it's taking a deflection coming in. Manus didn't know whether to come for and who was it? Ferruja at the back, was it? Yeah, it's Gerald's corner. Nugent clears it only as far as Browning. Yeah, get in. Browning pulls one back for Sligo Rovers. Get and in. The death. Oh, wow. yes. None more than they deserved as well since they've done it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And the noise in the showgrounds, the place has absolutely erupted. Lucas Browning with the goal for Sligo Rovers. Incredible finish to this game at the showgrounds. What a strike. He's caught that. Oh, what a finish to this game. And there we have it. It's all over at the showground. After Graham Burke put them in the lead after 17 and a half minutes, they were reduced to 10 men then when Roberto Lopez was sent off in the second half. And Sliger Rovers at the deck pulled one back. Alan Manis is booked here for having words with referee Damian McGrath and Shamrock Rovers players are making their way over to the referee. I'm sure there will be plenty to talk about from this game all over at the showground. Sliger Rovers won, Shamrock Rovers won.